compost is um, an odd material. It's dark. You can't see the very essence of compost that's most important, that is the microbes. And I think for most people, it seems like a lifeless, black, maybe smelly material. Once I describe compost to people, I think they a little bit fall in love with it themselves because composting is a beautiful thing. It takes those materials that normally would be wasted or normally could be pathogenic and turns them into a clean, highly valuable resource for farmers and for improving our food quality. So the question always becomes, how did that happen? The city of San Francisco began composting because the government had mandated that organic matter not be thrown into the refuge sites. Food scraps that we commonly have from restaurants or from our tables at home. And those food scraps are loaded with protein, oils, sugars, vitamins and minerals. And those very materials that are nutritious for us are highly nutritious for the microbes in the compost pile. Food scraps that are collected in San Francisco are brought to Jepson Prairie Organics. And then once the material is screened, we incorporate it with other woody materials that are recycled, called green waste. We put these materials combined into what are called windrows. What I'm trying to do is establish the right percentage of carbon to nitrogen and adequate moisture and adequate air. In the style of composting that we carry out, there's high heat produced in this process. The bacteria in the compost pile, they're very happy, and they're multiplying. They're producing uh, many, many more cells of bacteria, and they're producing heat subsequently. In that composting system that has a tarp over them and air being sucked into the piles, it picks up the gases that are produced by the microbes in the compost that are negative, such as methane, CO2, ammonium, and we bring that gas out we use, in effect, a biofilter made from wood chips to stop the release of toxic gases to the environment. Once the compost is stable, microbes are not highly active anymore. Under the ideal conditions that I provide for the microbes in the compost pile to decompose the organic matter, we can make a stable compost in approximately, oh, let's call it 60 days or so. We like to take that compost and let it mature, and this is where other species of microbes, such as beneficial fungi, inhabit the pile or recolonize the compost pile. We have a black or darkly colored amorphous material. It has no form that you can identify as being an orange peel or a banana peel or a piece of T-bone steak that were the starting materials. Because microbes made this material into compost, really into what is called humus. We're seeing the humus in this dark color and amorphous shape. A lot of the compost that we make at Jepson Prairie Organics actually gets applied to vineyards. These vines are being raised for fruit that goes to wine. Wine is a, a high dollar crop, and so we want to really use a lot of compost to produce the best quality grapes. We really don't need to be so focused on feeding the plant as we need to be focused on making good compost and using cover crops and minerals well and let the microbes feed the plant. The relationship between the microbes, the bacteria, fungi, nematodes and protozoas in soil and the roots is inseparable. The plant is feeding carbon to the microbes. The microbes are providing irreplaceable benefits for the plant. The plant can't take bacteria directly and take the nitrogen out. So we need an animal, like a free-living nematode, to consume the bacteria and excrete the extra nitrogen that they don't need for the plant's benefit. Fungi are capable of colonizing the root and protecting the roots just like my sleeve or my shirt protects my arm. The fungi can physically cover the root and protect it against pathogens. During the summer, I'm going to look at the general shape of the leaf. Does it look relaxed? Does it have even color? These vines have been fed compost for a decade or more, plus minerals and cover crops, and these leaves all look very healthy. They're cool today, and it's probably almost 90 degrees. They have a beautiful color for this variety, Grenache. I started in farming because I was interested in health, health of our cells, health of our animals. 
And when you have healthy soils, it makes crops very nutritious. I love compost because it makes soil healthy.